In this training video, I will explain the capabilities of the TPS 650861 and its programming procedure. This one page overview for the TPS 650861 explains the features of this user programmable PMIC and shows a simplified block diagram of the TPS 650861 device. The TPS 650861 is a PMIC that integrates three BUT controllers, one VTT LDO for DDR memory, three BUT converters, three LDOs, and three load switches. There is an I2C digital interface for programming the one-time programmable OTP memory and communicating with the device in real time when the system is running. The digital domain of the device also handles power sequencing and thermal monitoring. Programming the OTP directly allows access to more parameters of the TPS 650861, making this solution incredibly flexible. For example, the buck controllers can be sized accordingly depending on the load requirements, from 5 amps up to 30 amps depending on the external FETs used. The six control inputs and four general purpose outputs further increase the flexibility of this solution. Shown here is the typical PMIC programming flow for the TPS 650861 device. You will start by identifying your system power requirements, typically in the form of a power block diagram or power tree. Next, you will use the OTP generator tool to translate the desired settings into an I2C programming sequence. Once the OTP generation is complete, load the results into the IPGUI software and use it to program the TPS 650861 device. The fourth step is programming and testing a sample PMIC unit using the programming board. As shown in the photograph, the TPS 650861 sample will be inserted into the socket of the Boost XL-TPS650861 booster pack. The booster pack is situated on top of an MSP430 launch pad, and the launch pad is connected to the computer running the IPGUI software with a USB-A to micro-B cable. The MSP430 launch pad is configured to work as an adapter between the GUI and the booster pack. You can also use the included ribbon cable to connect the Boost XL-TPS650861 board to your board for directly programming soldered down samples. Fourth and finally, you can either solder down the TPS650861 sample on the TPS650860 EVM board available on TI.com or the samples that have been programmed can be soldered down directly on a prototype board of the final embedded processor system. There are two banks of OTP memory in the TPS650861 device, so each sample can be programmed twice, even if a mistake is made during the first attempt at programming. This slide contains a list and descriptions of the programming collateral available for the TPS650861. From a hardware perspective, the Boost XL-TPS650861 socketed programming boards and MSP430 F5529 launchpad can be ordered from the TI store as well as samples of the TPS650861 device. For software, there are two tools required, the OTP generator, a selection tool in Excel that converts the settings to their binary register map value and IPGUI, which reads the output of the OTP generator and programs the PMIC samples correctly. Additional guides are available for processors, such as the NXP Q or IQ, and for the Xilinx Arctic 7 and Zinc Ultrascale Plus MP SOC families. Here is a one-page overview for the TIDA-01393 reference design, which shows how the TPS-65864 and TPS-65861 can be used to power the Xilinx Zinc Ultrascale Plus MPSOC family. The TPS-65864 PMIC variants are pre-programmed for the Zinc Ultrascale Plus MPSOCs 
and samples can be ordered on TI.com. If you are using the TIDA-01393 reference design as a starting point and need to change the OTP programming, follow the programming flow for the TPS650861 and the OTP generator source files available for download.